hello friends welcome back to another vlog i feel like it's been some time since i last vlogged it's been a while um how have you been i hope you have been well um i have been really tired lately i'm not gonna lie um i'm kind of struggling i think all the running that i'm doing like my body just is not used to kind of that high intensity training and in the last two and a half weeks i've run about 35 kilometers which is a lot for someone who has never run before um i have about two weeks until i will be running the 10k vitality run um so if you don't know i'm running the 10k vitality um and i will be running to raise money for diabetes diabetes wellness and research foundation um and if you would like to donate and support me the link is below it's a fantastic foundation for those of you who don't know um my younger sister has type 1 diabetes so the work that this foundation does in particular is very kind of near and dear to me um for that reason because they're working to kind of make the lives of diabetics the very best that they can be until a cure can be found um so yeah I'm quite tired, um, my body is quite tired, work has been quite mad um, over the last few weeks and I'm just feeling a little bit run down lately, um, which is all fine, you know, it's just one of those things that can happen um, and I'm aware of it so I'm doing what I can to kind of take care of myself. Um, but the reason that I wanted to vlog today is because this evening I'm actually going to see Les Mis um, for the second time and I cannot put into words how excited I am to see this show again now that I've I saw it um I think maybe two months ago now and I have a video I did vlog that day um so I will post that um here for you if you want to go check that out but are we vlogging today as well I think it'll be interesting to kind of um experience it for the second time and see how that kind of differs from the first time that I saw it um, but I'm just so excited. This show is so incredible and it was, I'm, I think it was the most emotional experience that I've had at the theatre to date. Um, and that's saying something because the theatre really, really moves me. But I think the music of Les Mis is just incredible. I have a really amazing seat as well. I'm sitting on the front row <laughs> um, in the stalls right I'm quite center but I think I'm just to the right of the conductor um because those that sit right behind the conductor have a restricted view and I'm slightly to the right so I won't have a restricted view but I'm just so excited um so I'll be vlogging um mainly that but maybe throughout the day depending on how my day goes I do have a busy work day I have a lot of kind of admin and finance stuff that I need to do for the business um as well as two meetings that are on my calendar so i'm gonna do my best to get through that um and get through everything that's on my to-do list today um gal and i have already been for a walk we got a coffee and i had a blueberry muffin from olenstein um and just kind of went out to enjoy the sunshine my lower back is in a bit of a state um i have kind of a recurring lower back injury and i've had it for years and i saw an osteo for quite some time an osteopath for quite some time a few years back um it's something called sij so sacroiliac joint dysfunction and that joint is meant to rotate and mine sometimes locks and doesn't rotate and it's tremendously painful and also kind of limits your um mobility quite a bit um so i am taking it easy today and sitting down on my bum for the whole day is probably not the best thing but there's nothing i can do about that except remind myself to get up and continue to move which I will obviously do, um, and do some stretches, which I did this morning and I will do shortly. So that's kind of an update of what's been going on in my life recently. Um, I'm really looking forward to a weekend of relaxation. I wanna get through a lot of my books. I have so many books that I would like to read. Um, so I'm just hoping to have kind of a cozy Saturday because my Sunday is quite busy seeing friends, which I'm very excited about. Um, but yeah, a cozy Saturday where I can just relax and take care of myself. Um, tomorrow I have a Q&A book event with Carrie Hope Fletcher about her new book, With This Kiss. And I've started reading this. I First of all, look how stunning this book is. I think I've 
I don't know if I've showed you this, but like such a, it matches my top. <laughs> such a beautiful book. Um, I'm on page 67 and I'm really, really enjoying this book. It's one of those books that is so easy to read, to just pick up and read. And the characters are really relatable. Um, there's one of the characters, the main character, Lorelai, um, she's quite a bookish person. Um, and I just find her really, really relatable. Um, she's 25 years old. It's set in London, which I love because there are references where I'm like, oh, I know where that is. Um, but I'm really enjoying this. I'm hoping to finish it by tomorrow. I don't know how realistic that is because I do have the theatre this evening. But we'll see how we get on. So I'm really excited about... Um, I'm also a bit nervous about tomorrow. So these things make me a bit nervous. Like, I'm going on my own. I don't know anyone. Um, Carrie Hope Fletcher means a lot to me because she's kind of helped... Um, she kind of helped me during, although she doesn't know this, but she helped me during one of the darkest periods of my life, November, December, January time. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous to meet her. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this. Um, the only other kind of update to give you guys is something really bizarre happened over the weekend. And I just thought I would share it with you because I thought it was weird. Um, but basically, I don't have a TikTok. I didn't have a TikTok. And I'd always kind of stayed away from TikTok because I was aware of how easy it is to kind of get sucked into it and become obsessed. And I'm quite careful with social media and how I use it. And for some reason I was like, do you know what, I'm just gonna download it. I'm just gonna download it, see what happens. Like, you know, maybe I like it, maybe I don't. Maybe I can, you know, use it to kind of connect with more people who are like me. Downloaded it. And on Saturday I was like going out to, uh, see a friend we were going to go see a ballet and then I was going to spend the evening at my parents and I dressed up and was wearing like one of my favorite dresses the weather was really nice um and the dress is kind of like regency-ish vibes um I'll put a photo here so you guys can see so I had done my makeup and was just feeling like really I don't know confident and like I loved my outfit I liked how I looked so I just filmed a really quick video of me in the lift and I was like, do you know what? I'm just gonna put this on TikTok. It took maybe less than three minutes, put music over it and posted that on TikTok. And I think I captioned it like really feeling the Regency vibes, something like that. And it's blown up and I just don't understand. It's actually crazy how TikTok works and what people find entertaining and interesting. It's a 10 second video of me in a lift. I'm not speaking, I'm not even looking at the camera. I'm looking away from the camera and showing people my outfit and just saying Regency feel. And people went crazy over it and it has over half a million views and about 80,000 likes. And that's been really bizarre. And the reason it kind of blew up is because people are saying that I look like Eloise Bridgerton from Bridgerton and obviously Bridgerton's a really hot topic at the moment because it came out a few weeks ago um so that's interesting but I'm on TikTok now so if you would like to follow me on TikTok please do um my handle will be in the description and it was at the start of this video but it'll be in the description so anyways I'm gonna crack on with work and I will check in with you guys later hello team um just an update, it is 4.30, so I'm gonna start getting ready to leave in 5.30? So that's not right. 5.30? I need to leave at 6. No later than 6. I think I'm gonna start getting ready at 5.30 um, to leave at 6. I don't think I'm going to put anything on my face because I know that I'm going to be crying. So, better to go bare-faced. <laughs> um, I've had a bit of a funky day. I just not have, I just not have, I have not felt my best. Um, it's actually worked out pretty good with work because I haven't needed to speak to very many people today. I've just kind of been focused on like just working on things that I need to do um, without really interacting with the team very much. So that's worked out quite nicely because, yeah, I'm just not in the best mood. <laughs> um, I'm in a bit of a funk. 
my back feels a little bit better and I have just received a delivery from ASICS with um, some running leggings and two tops that I ordered. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you when I wear them tomorrow because I... <sighs> I'll just show you now. So, I'm just going to pop you. Mm. There. Also, excuse my hair. Let's just wait for... There we go. Excuse my hair. Um, I just wanted it... I was going to say out of my face, but I have a fringe, so it means it's not out of my face. Anyways, so I bought these two tops from ASICS, just like plain running tops. Um, and I got two in blue. They're exactly the same. Oh no, they're not exactly the same. They're not exactly the same. This one. Um, but I got them in blue because my running shoes are navy blue and then I got these running tights and I've never worn um like running leggings from anywhere really I think I tried the Lululemon fast and free running tights um and I hated them this was ages ago but typically my leggings are from Lululemon or Gymshark I don't own any Nike or Adidas or anything else um, but ASICS is a running brand and so I thought I need to get some proper running ones because the ones that I have just don't fit right and kind of bother me so I got these now these are a size small I feel like I'm not showing you anything and they have these um, like meshy you can kind of see that like meshy bits just below the knee so i'm kind of excited to try these on the only annoying thing is that there are lots of seams and i have gotten very used to wearing seamless leggings might be a bit of an adjustment but i think it'll be fine so i'm excited to wear those um hopefully i will be able to go for a run tomorrow i'm thinking of doing a short like one or two kilometer run tomorrow and then seeing how my back feels and then if I feel okay then doing a longer run on Saturday so that's the plan as of right now um I'm also waiting for my running top to come in from the charity that I'm running with um running for so that hasn't arrived yet so I might need to follow up with that but yeah that's kind of the update nothing else to report um my sister very very kindly ordered me some crosstown donuts because she sent me a text with the delivery confirmation saying um that the donuts were on the way um and she said that donuts are my love language and she felt like i needed some love today which was very kind of her so i'm very much looking forward to those arriving do 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 uh, this one is let me pull that out my order i think it's like pear blackberry and, and pear blackberry pear cinnamon scroll <laughs> and homemade raspberry jam mm -mm -mm. okay on the way to the theater i always forget how busy um like piccadilly circus circus piccadilly circus area is circus i don't know what i'm saying um but yeah this area is always really really busy particularly around the evening time um because that's obviously when the theater is kind of open but i'm on my way to the sun dime and i'm super super excited I also have made the decision not to wear any makeup <laughs> um, just because I know I'm going to sob my heart out and no one likes runny makeup so nice naked face okay I can see the sun dime Sorry. 
less tears this time round. Um, I saw a different eponine, so the, the principal eponine because the last time it was the first cover and I think I saw a different Jean Valjean but I'm not 100% sure. I have to double check the names. Okay, there was also a different conductor. Um, oh and the guy that plays Oh, I always forget the name. Hang on. Tenardier. So the guy that plays Tenardier, the last time I went, it was a different person who was in the ensemble this time, so I'm assuming he was a first cover. But I kind of liked the cover better, which is, always, which is very interesting. Um, but it was amazing. I did cry, particularly during the second act. I think one of my favorite songs is Little Fall of Rain. It's when Eponine dies. Spoiler, if you haven't seen it, everyone dies. Um, but yeah, it was just incredible and I'll be going again in a month with my sister and Jay who have never seen it so I'm really excited about that. But it was amazing, Limits I think is my favourite show. Um, so if you haven't seen it, go see it. I feel like I was the only one in the world <laughs> who hadn't seen it but I've now seen it twice. So yeah, oh, I'm so happy. That was just what I needed to kind of pick me up and take me out of the little funk that I was in. So so happy that I went this evening. Um, yeah, loved it. <laughs> um, I'm just like all giddy now because theatre is just the best place in the world. Genuinely, is my happy place. So anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. If you've stayed till the very end, thank you. Love you lots. And I will see you in the next one.